Hi guys it's Creative Mastic here, back with another tutorial. Hope you all are doing good. Today I am going to show you how to create this Power Ranger Zordon effect in Adobe After Effects. So let's start, but before that let's roll the intro. Drag and drop your footage on the new comp icon to create a new composition. Select the comp layer then go to effects and presets panel and search for levels. Now drag and drop that effect on the comp. Go to effects controls and in levels drag the highlights slider to left. Matone also to left and the shadows slider to right. To give footage some contrast. Now go to effects panel again and search for Tritone. Select Matone color and change it to desaturated blue. Now create a solid of color light gray. Size of main comp and name it Radio Waves. Now go to Effects and Presets panel and type in Radio Waves. Drag and drop that effect on the solid that you created. Now come to Effects Controls Panel come down to Frequency and change it to 0.7. Below that change the expansion value to 13. Come down to Color and change color to Desaturated Red. If you drag the timeline cursor a bit forward and you will see red circular waves created. Now come down to fade out time and CHNAGE it to 12. Now change start width to 100 and end width to 1. Back to Effects and Presets panel and search for Fast Blur. Drag and drop that effect on Radio Waves layer. Increase Blur Radius to 15 and don't forget to check Repeat Edge Pixels box. Now duplicate the footage layer by pressing Ctrl plus D on keyboard. Now mask out the subject that you want to pop out. For me the hand is the subject. Select the top layer and press F for mask feather option. And feather it by 100. Now select all three layers and pre-comp them. Let's create a camera to give your effect a 3D look. For that go to layer new and create a camera. Make the lens of camera 50mm and press OK. Now go back to effects and controls panel and search for card dance effect. Drag and drop that effect on your footage. Come effects and controls panel. Go to gradient layer 1 and select Zordon layer. 
now go a bit up and change rows to 215. Now come down to columns and change it to 300. Now come down to Z position and change source to intensity 1. Now come a bit down to X scale and change offset to 0.7 and Y scale offset to 0.7. Now come down to camera system and change it from camera position to comp camera. Come down to lighting and change light type to first comp light and change ambient light to zero. And guys if you are watching the video and you haven't subscribed yet go and click that red subscribe button and subscribe. If you can see black screen on your project comp. Don't worry, now we are going to add a source light in it. To do that go to layer new and select light or you can press ctrl alt shift plus l on your keyboard. In light settings, change light type to point and click ok. Now you can place the point light depending on the light source of your footage. You can play with the point light however you want. You can move point light using the X, Y and Z axis on it. Now come down to Termelon and duplicate the Zordon plate. Drag that Zordon plate layer to top. Now solo the top layer by click on this small dot beside layer lock button. Now go to effects and control panel of that layer and come down to X scale and change its offset to 0.20. Now go to effects and control panel and search for fast blur. Drag and drop that effect on the top layer. Now change the blur radius to 8. Now remove the top Zordon from Solo. Go to Effects and Control Panel again and search for Gradient Ramp. Change the start color to light blue and end color to desaturated blue. Now adjust the start of ramp point to top left corner and end of ramp point to bottom right corner. Change blending mode to add. But you can see the edges of the video is a little messed up not aligned properly. To make it disappear we are going to create a vignette effects. For that create a new solid with black color. Go to toolbar and change rectangle tool into ellipse tool. Now double click on ellipse tool and mask will be created on the solid. Go to mask properties of the solid and change add to subtract. Now select the solid layer and press F on your keyboard to open feather properties of the mask. Now increase the feather value to about 300 to 400. Let's give your video some contrast. To do that we would have to create an adjustment layer. For that go to layer new then click on adjustment layer. Now go to effects and control panel and search for curves. Drag and drop curves effect onto the adjustment layer. Me in curves create slight S curve you see S and do as in doing. Now select the camera layer and go to toolbar and select dolly towards cursor tool. Now come to the center of your comp and click and drag the cursor upward. This will fill the edges of the comp. By filling the black portion of the edges. Now just pre-compose all the layers and you are ready to render. And yeah you are done. Hope you all liked the video. Press the bell button if you want to get notified for my new and exciting videos.